You see, when we got launched out of that there catapult, we got catapulted so far we managed to land far outside of the scope of what was actually feasible for this game's release back when it first came out. And unfortunately, I mean, a lot of people were thinking if maybe remastered, they'd be given, you know, they were they'd be given a second chance to really realize it. But unfortunately, we just get this cutscene. Oh yeah. Oh. Originally, we were supposed to be landing in Stonehenge and fight a basilisk. Uh, or Jabberwocky. Yeah. Uh, my bad. Yeah, this was a cut level in the original and ended up basically when I say this remake's note for note, that even extends. Where's the worst one? Yeah, hey, Morton. And that this, is that the only time you ever see him? Yeah. I guess He's it's like, also like in the original. I don't know if Morton was going to have a bigger role in the original plot of it, but I love the. Oh, and by the way, for some reason, we're also helped by a kindly eagle throughout the rest of this entire game. Farewell, uh, Jabberwocky. Adi Benducci. He forgot he had wings. Thank you, kindly. Thank you, kind eagle of un, of mysterious it's, origin. I'm pretty sure aerodynamics of, don't quite work like that, but it's, it's okay. actually the eagle of justice from Sonic 06. No, oh, it's the, oh, you see. Mitchell Wisdom <laughs> says you shouldn't jump onto giant ghost ships. However, it's still safer air travel method than catapults. Sorry. <laughs> We've made it to a ghost ship that fortunately happens to be under the command of Zerok. Because why not? I like the captain, though. He looks pretty spiffy. He don't oh, act spiffy. Gee, I wonder what kind of fan art we're going to see after this part. Nah. And we've landed on like the ghost pirates. Mm. I'm too tired Aha. to draw. Well, I never said it was right away. Still. So, what a this part is gauntlet. Yep, so this part is both fun yet frustrating. Thank you, fixed cameras, and oh, hello, Mr. Ghost Ship. Yeah, he's done. I thought you want to know mm -hmm. we have a stowaway on board. I told the men to scour the decks for him. Good! I want that scurvy dog! That oh my god! By his, flowers. <laughs> his accents! Necessary. Couldn't we just give him a good tongue lashing and drop him off at the next port? <laughs> Size. You guys don't even have tongues. Ouch. <laughs> that, that'd be medieval terms for he's going to tear him a new cornhole. Oh, Let's see here. Of the crew seems to be under the control of a few officers. Without yeah, and I think the bestiary also has another funny little way of saying it. These skeletons are so loyal they won't even return back from the dead unless they're given orders by their captain to do so. Yeah. So, basic, so what that basically means is look for the blue coat guys. Once you destroy them, everybody else falls apart. Yep, and, yeah. so, and all that's add to your chalice. Mm -hmm. Everybody else is just literally infinite fodder that will not stay dead for long. Pretty much. So, I'm just going to keep moving around, see if I can find people and be very... Uh, actually, before I do that, I think now that I got the moon rune, I want to make sure I got the moon rune. Yeah, yeah you, you I got did. it. Okay. I'm just double checking. I know. Yes. Yeah, you did. Okay. Yeah, did. So now I can head down... Freaking invisible walls. So now I'll head back down here and grab some more, and you know, grab another rune and hopefully destroy more captains. In we go. Uh, okay, oh, one other thing I was talking about, I was thinking about earlier. Um, oh, okay, no. Oh, no, there's the rune. Uh, one other thing I was thinking about was something about that conversation that uh, Dan had with King Peregrine just felt so, like, Tim Burton y. With the fact that we have like two uh, two undead guys just having a normal chat as if it's no big deal. Yeah. yeah. Corpse bride. Yeah, like oh, tough luck, oh, good boy. I mean, he's been he's he's been long dead, so it's not it's like the whole thing barely pleases him anymore. And I, I guess that's saying I don't know how to describe, but like I think that's like that's always what really struck me as Tim Burtony is when someone is just casually dead. Yeah. Casually dead. Yeah. That's how I describe it. Like that's just how it feels. Oh. It's the whole being dead thing, bro. And that was What's my that, very poor impression of Beetlejuice. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, it's just it's just the whole being. I don't know. I feel Here, like I Steve, have to do that. Yeah, Steve, you do it. You you do a better Beetlejuice than I do. Well, I don't want to seem like I'm a bragger, even though that's kind of fit his char characteristic. <laughs> hey, that works. <laughs> hey, it works. Showtime. I don't know. I was thinking, uh, who who played him in the cartoon actually? Uh, I think it was. Yeah. What was it? Stefan something. I know it began with an S. I think it was an ST. 
And I know it's him and the goth girl from the first movie. Lydia. Yeah, canonically. Okay, yeah. so here we go. Beetlejuice in the cartoon is voiced by one Stephen Wimlet. I have no idea if that's how you pronounce it. Stephen Wimlet? Uh, yeah, that does sound see. familiar, yeah. Um, among other things that he's done, um, he has... He was in the Care Bears what? Big Wish movie. That's too loud there. Really? Bear. Really? Huh. Uh, let me see. Well, let me try to see if something. there's anything else he might have been in. Um, Oh god! No! Oh jeez! Oh ah, yeah! Like, one thing that's definitely that's definitely prevalent throughout this this whole level. I hope you don't. I hope you love your platforming gimmicks. Okay. And if you mess up, I hope you like your backtracking. Yeah. Throughout the entire okay. thing. Okay, I'll say one thing. This is just for a me thing since I do remember the show. He was Mad Dog in Dog City, which is kind of funny. Oh, um, cool. He was yeah. Angel slash Archangel in the Fox X Men series. And uh -huh. he was, d and he was Doctor Lyon in the busy world of Richard Scarry. Oh wow! I remember, I remember that. I yeah, I remember that time. too. I mean, the only characters I remember were Lowly and what was the name of the cat? Uh, his name was uh, oh crud, what was his name? Yeah, I the forgot. Worm? No, 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 no. The no, worm no, was no. the the worm was Lowly. I'm thinking oh. about like the cat, the orange and red cat. Yeah, what well, what is oh. his name? Real quick, why you ponder Huckle. that something? I was about to say Huckle. Was it Huckle? Huckle, that's his name. I was, I was about okay. to say while you Thank ponder you, that, um, something I think, if, if anything else, I think James and Logan might find interesting. The person that voiced Lydia in the Beetlejuice series is Claire Redfield. Oh, huh. Court. Nice. Oh, really? Wow. That is fun. Also, I'll admit this part. This part kind of threw me off when I first played it because I didn't think you could actually go in there. Yeah, it, it, it looks walled off. Again, this fixed camera doesn't... Oh, he just went flying. He just committed to Again, the fixed, or not. Yeah, he, no. he just runs away from me until you slash him down. It's, um... How to describe it? It's, uh... Whoa, okay. It's something where, like, um... Again, the fix. If this just had actual camera controls, it'd be so much better. And the fact that they were able to actually fully render all this stuff makes me wish we did have camera controls. Kind of like with Crash Reignited. Yeah. Yeah. You mean Crash Insane? Crash Insane, you're right. I'm just saying I'd be down for I'm just saying I'd be down for a Crash Orange if they actually like did it for real. I'd be down for a Crash but... Orange if it was actually good. Or Spiral yeah. Orange, I mean. Spiral Orange and Crash Pro I feel like there's still something those two could do. They just really blew their like they blew Whoa. their first shot at it's, it. It's with... really a shame because it's like which because before then you have the GBA games, which for Crash, they were pretty good. For Spyro, I heard, you know, if you can get past the whole isometric platformer isometric. thing, they're actually pretty good for what they were. And both right. games were handled by Vicarious Visions, who ended up making the Insane Trilogy. So it's just like, it like had to do the whole thing of like, not one thing should have gone wrong. The plans were already aligned. All this stuff happened. And then they flubbixed it. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my dragon armor and a club because, yeah, as that book said... None of what I have equipped is going to actually be able to do anything to this captain because he's standing behind impenetrable wood. Honestly, with, this fight, honestly with this fight, you really just need a dragon armor on your set. But Devil David, he, he's surrounded by... Oh, oh we got to do it. So, yeah, so for now, so for the first step, for the first step, it seems easy. Use a club and... You can light on fire to very quickly run past, and you can use it to destroy these guys. Hit the switches to aim the cannon properly. However, I believe around half health. Oh, okay, no, just about two thirds health. He makes it rain, which puts out all of my uh, torch fire. Which is then when we need dragon fire because that never runs out. Oh, good. Hope you didn't. Hope you didn't miss this. Well, actually, no, you could. You couldn't have come here without this. So. Yep. So again, this is this is good. I like this. I like this setup. It's again. It's, it's like one of the. It's one of the main things I don't care for with Hollow Knight's gameplay or game design. Was that nuts? Was that a lot of the cool upgrades you get were optional in the grand scheme of things, so they couldn't really design a lot of end game stuff around it. It's only if you go for like the true final boss that like the radiance and stuff make use of the do of like your uh, shadow dodge and stuff, for instance. And okay, 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 we're right dodging attack. You say that that shadow dodge still was helpful just for well, just sneak, just go going past most of the moves in your way. That is true and dead. There's a there's a there's a fine line between a, between um. 
between items that can be used like whenever and any like anywhere and everywhere and stuff that's only really useful for specific segments. That's fair. Also, for whatever dumb reason, the steering wheel is at the front of the ship, the dead front of the ship. Huh. But with no captain, the ship's kind of ours, and we're now two chalices away from 100 percent. Yay! With chalices. <laughs> Off you go. And oh, Daniel's, just thinking, of and Daniel's just thinking to himself, "Why do I keep doing this when they just keep just keep putting get, get, keep putting me back up? Well, why do you keep making, hmm? well, why do you keep making your bed if you keep messing it up?" Fair. I, I was all, I was, all, <laughs> and I was going to say in retaliation to <gasps> Stern Guard. Oh. Not at all. Not really. Something else I can give to you. Something you may find there. <laughs> Very interesting. Now what is it? Just cash. Yeah, I'll take it. Whatever. I'll take it. By the way, you like my new dragon armor? <laughs> Body skew, why do you say things that you don't want to make me feel sad? <laughs> oh, look, was that? Wait, wait, wait. When was that treasure chest there? I don't know. I must. I don't know why it was there. Maybe he snuck it there. While we weren't looking. Maybe. Oh, oh he's fast. So, with, now that we have taken control of this pirate ship, we can fly it off to the shortest level in the game. Whoops. I went the wrong direction. Oops. Oops. Wrong way, stupid. Oh, wait. Actually, actually no, wait a minute. Oh, that's right. I remember now why I'm doing this, because I actually, uh... Okay, hear me out. I think I was, I think I was doing this because I realized I forgot in a chalice. <gasps> Where did you forget the chalice? Actually, no. I don't believe I... No, wait. Thinking... Gears turning. Thinking, I'm thinking. Gears are turning. Oh. Oh. Now I remember. It's no. It wasn't that I was missing a chalice. Is that I remembered. I'm missing. A, I'm missing. A, I'm missing a health potion. You want to know where I missed it? Where? where? The very beginning of the game. Uh... Because if you come back here after getting the club or the daring dash, you can break this wall in your crypt, which will lead you to. Oh. The next life bottle. The left. The last, I think it's, uh, I think this is almost the last life. Uh, the second to last. The last one's in the very last level of the game. So there we go. I completely flubbed up on that. I could have had an extra health bar this whole time. The gauntlet, the gallows gauntlet wouldn't have been as hard. Whatever. Let's go to the shortest level of the game. Oops. Not to be, not to be outdone by Dan's script. Oh, yeah. All right. Unlike, unlike that, unlike there though, this is not the best place to to go looking for a dead Dan. Because, well, there might, there will be recently if you happen to die there. And, uh, yeah, I love that Dan was piloting that. I just love, like, hmm, who's piloting this? And just rams right into the thing. <laughs> also, I hope you brought a magic sword. Which we did. And hope to yep. God that you make sure to keep it in your back pocket. And please take off your shoes. Yes. Yes. Please. Please. So, yeah, we're going to learn here. <laughs> so, we're going to learn here. That uh, in one of these books, that these imps got themselves into Xerox's magic books, which basically give them a butt ton of defense unless you have a magic sword. Mm. Mm, no, well, I think it says so here. You know, that would explain why I didn't barely know so much of a difference in terms of their strategy, just because Xerox I already had a magic sword. <sighs> They're shielded by magic, the naughty creatures. Naughty. So, yeah, we need, Very yeah, naughty so we need... creatures. Oh, hey, God. Daniel Fortescue. Standing bold as you like in the foyer of Xerox Castle. Who'd have thought it? Not <laughs> us, that's for sure. Hmm. We's afraid the master of the house is out trying to plunge him. Yeah, that is something. Is he's actually not even here? We actually don't even have our final fight here in his great castle. We have to find out where he went Just and where his true secret is. Make yourself at home and help yourself to anything in the fridge. Everywhere you may go, everywhere you like. Don't go down that hall. <laughs> Don't you go into go. the West Wing. Sorry. <laughs> why, why is it? No, it's a minute. Not. Sorry, I was also yeah. Sorry. And, don't, and don't go touching the. Don't go touching that. We just had that spit cleaned. Oh jeez. But yeah, as stated, be very careful because imps and sticky fingered imps are going to be in this next room. Okay. A lot of them, so I'm gonna be very careful. Yeah, take the take the take the other magic sword that you're not gonna get use out of after this. And I don't believe they can steal your dragon armor. I don't believe they can. That'd be some that'd be interesting I'd, if they could. I, I I if I was Dan, I'd be like, you know what? I'm not even mad. That was very impressive. I know. There they are. Or get on. Whack, whack whack. Okay, where do these books say? 
the secret diary. Oh, unsettled. this is a good one. Uh -huh. 100 years I've spent in exile, using my anger to keep me warm. Fair enough. Feeding off my suffering, relaxing with my angst. God, she had just a ball and a half reading all this dialogue, didn't she? She oh, did. Uh, she did. Is it petty that I kind of like the way that Matt and Ellie read it better? I, I, it's fine. It's all about the emotion. Oh, hang on. Medieval on his bony behind. I never liked him anyway. Always hanging around the court, interfering. Where are you going with that dead cat, Zerok? Where did you find that brain, Zerok? <laughs> Wretched. I think what sold it on uh, SGB's uh, read through was that they put the emphasis on the different words, so right. it wasn't. So it wasn't. Where'd you find that brain? Hey, oh, jeez. Yeah. Uh, oh, 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 I got it back. Oh, you got it. Like, oh, well, okay. Oh, wait a minute. Here's a. Uh, here's another. I'll continue, but here's another good one. Dead, page five. Putting a town to sleep. Page seventy-one. Looking good for the over four hundreds. <clears> page one hundred thirty-six. Robbing people of their free will. Page 207. Right. Summoning demons. Page 268. Uh-huh. Card tricks. Ooh. Page oh. Card tricks. Fair enough. Got to know that. Something getting busy. But like, and, okay. But like the oh, and then there's oh. this. Oh. This is 100% new to the remastered. Huh. This will, if one, basically when I open this chest, I will set into motion a completely optional side quest that's pretty extensive and will basically ask of me to revisit almost every single level in the game. Uh, I don't believe I ever have to revisit the Ant Hill, and I don't believe there's anything in Dan's Crypt. Nope. But every other level is free game, and uh, it, so it's kind of like a two-part scavenger hunt. So this is the first of the Lost Souls I'll be doing, and I'll be doing this all in the next part. So, biggest fish I've ever seen pulled me into the water right by the village lake. You should have seen it. I'm sure those fish are still in there. So, this is... It's a scavenger hunt. So, this first part is the riddle of where I need to go next. So, right by the village lake, I need to go back to the village level and go to that little lake that was on the side. So, whenever you find a lost soul, it's a two-part quest. First, you find the lost soul, and then you have to get help. You need to help uh, redeem it or, you know, meet, you know let it... Yeah, set it to rest by helping it out somehow. So I'm gonna go to the village lake, and to, so the way the the structure I'm gonna do it in the next part is I'm going to go to the level to starting from this level going forward. I will go to that level and solve its mission, and then I while I'm in that level, I'll also get that lost soul, and you know I'll kind of do like a chain from that point forward. Pretty much. And uh, with that said, this is already the last room of the area. I just need to destroy these guys and uh, get the chalice, and I'm good. Let's do it. Um, but no, I was going to say, I think what made that funny hype is how he put the emphasis on, where's you, where you going with that dead cat, Zarek? Where's your brain, brain Zarek? Like, honestly, Zarek. a few things. Like, that's funny, but the two things that get me are, first off, during the second half, both Elliot and Matt said it, like, in perfect unison along with it, which got Johnny amused. And also just <laughs> the fact that Johnny was amused by the bit that we talked over it, but how, like, he thought, he thought of my first attempt to conquer Galimir, and then posthumously claimed to have killed me. <laughs> but I didn't do that. That was Galimir that says that we did that. We did. We had no such hand in that. I don't think he cares. Mm. Also, the statue is almost solid. One more chalice will do it. Yep. Think and then we shall be amid to the Hall of Heroes. All are complete with our right down to our very bones. Steadfast. Oh. Hey, steadfast. Read. I've got so much here I can give you, but I've no idea what it is. Do you fancy a chance is like? Also, yeah, in these cutscenes, they always give the sword back to the guy, I guess, for safety and. Oh, there wow, thanks. Yeah, right when I already healed myself up. Thanks a lot, Steadfast. How well, I was supposed to know you would have gone and healed yourself. Ah, I just thought you would have gone and boss blazing. So, yeah, but that said, that ends. We're almost done with the game. Again, this is not a very long game. However,. Yeah, had had that been it, the next part would have been the finale. But I am going to show off the whole optional side quest thing because I gotta enjoy this remaster for what it's worth. Mm -hmm. So uh, join us in the next part as we're going to as we're going to proceed with the grand chain of setting lost souls to rest. You, you get the you, you get the whole, ladies and gentlemen. Next part is the backtracking episode. Hope y'all enjoy that. See ya. Yee.